financial planning tends to get a very bad rap and sometimes that pushes people away from learning some of these things. Why is that so? Why does it have a bad reputation and, and how, why does that, how does that affect people adversely? Well, I think it affects people adversely because then they tend to ignore it and they tend to kind of put it off, right? So instead of dealing with it, they kind of just like, I don't want to deal with that stuff. And as you know well, Dave, that's a recipe for disaster. You, you've got to deal with these issues because too many Americans kind of grow up and then they find themselves in retirement woefully underprepared. So the real bad cost of being put off by financial planning is you got to do it and everyone has to do it. And you can do it in different ways, but you've got to think ahead. And if you don't think ahead, um, then you're going to have a problem. You can do that with an advisor or elsewhere, but however you do it, you've got to do it. And the point in the book is to say the way to make sure you do it is to make sure that those ideas don't intimidate you. So when a financial advisor talks about diversification or talks about options or talks about leverage, you should be able to understand that and have the confidence to question that person as opposed to feeling a little bit intimidated, so which for, is a real cost. So for example, we hear people who have, you know, who say they're bad with math, if a financial advisor approaches them all mathematically, that's how they're gonna feel about it, which makes sense.